What's up guys, David here from Phone Buff, and in this video, we're going to be doing a speed comparison test between what just may end up being two of the top smartphones in 2013 and the Samsung Galaxy S4 and the HTC One. Both phones here are the US variants from AT&T, meaning that they both have the Qualcomm made Snapdragon 600 processor and are each coupled with 2GB of RAM. There are a few differences however, with the Galaxy S4 having a slightly higher clock speed at 1.9GHz with DDR3 RAM compared to the 1.7GHz and the DDR2 RAM found on the HTC One. We'll start off the speed test like we usually do here at PhoneBuff and do a boot up test to see which smartphone loads up its version of Android first. While these guys are loading up, I want to let you know that both phones are connected to the same Wi-Fi network and both have had their browsing history and cache cleared out, which is going to be important for the browser test that we do later on. Alright, so as you can see here, the HTC One with its fast boot optimizations loaded up faster with the Galaxy S4 following shortly thereafter. The next test we'll do here is a video transcoding test where we compress the same video file down to a smaller size, which is a very processor and memory intensive task that isn't really heavily dependent upon software. Now this whole process actually takes over 6 minutes, so I'm just going to skip through it here so we can get straight to the results. Alright, so as you can see, the two phones are neck and neck in this test, but the slight edge here does go to the Galaxy S4, with it transcoding the video about 4% faster than the HTC One did. The next speed test we're doing here is the app speed test where we load up the same app on both phones to see which one loads up faster. Uh, maybe a split second faster with score center on the HTC One. The videos tab looked to be just about the same. And on the headlines tab again, pretty much neck and neck, no separation really. We'll go ahead and try to tap on an article here to see if we can get any kind of difference. And uh, they're actually both taking quite a bit of time this time. But there you go. So you can see the HTC One was about a split second faster than the Galaxy S4 in this case. So for the score center overall, I'd give the lead to the HTC One. Loading up the Flixer app, we see the splash screen first on the HTC One. But it looks like the Galaxy S4 actually loaded up the thumbnails first. The ad may have played a part, so we'll try another movie listing. And uh, no real separation here. I mean, maybe a split second faster on the HTC One, but nothing really you know, worth mentioning. Which doesn't come at much of a surprise considering that they both have pretty much the same processor. The only difference is the clock speed again. So the fourth and final test we'll do here is the browser test. And uh, first set we'll load up is going to be phonebuff.com. And you can see the content loading up first on the HTC One. But the status bar actually finishes up first on the Galaxy S4. So a little bit of mixed results. Can't really see the rest of the site because it's a mobile site. We'll go ahead and tap on this article and see if it makes any difference. And again, we're not seeing much separation here. The status bar finishes first on the Galaxy S4. We see the content first on the HTC One, but we're not sure what's going on behind the scenes. So we'll go ahead and go to The Verge, which hopefully will give us some separation because I'd really hate to end this on a tie, considering that the app speed test was pretty much a tie, maybe a slight advantage for the HTC One. And actually we're seeing it load up much faster on the Galaxy S4, so it's actually a pretty significant difference. We'll go ahead and tap on this article right here in the center, so that way we can see if we can replicate that result. And uh, actually it does, so definitely faster on the mobile site on The Verge on the Galaxy S4. We'll go ahead and try the full site and see you know, which phone actually loads it up first. So for mobile site, I'd say that the edge definitely goes to the Galaxy S4 for The Verge. On phone buff, maybe the HTC One had the edge. But this is the real test which has a lot of content on it. And we're seeing the content first on the Galaxy S4. Galaxy S4 says it's done. And now the HTC One is done. So. Really close, but the edge does clearly go to the Galaxy S4 in this case, similar to how it was in the video transcoding. But honestly, both phones are super, super smooth. I mean, you can see no lag whatsoever, and you'd probably be happy with either or, at least when it comes to speed. But overall, I'd have to say that the edge goes slightly to the Galaxy S4, even though the HTC won in the boot up test, because when it came to the more processor and memory intensive tasks like video transcoding and the browser, the Galaxy S4 had a bigger margin of victory. But honestly, both phones are super super fast and you wouldn't really notice a difference unless you were doing a side by side comparison like this. And I'd say you'd be better off making your purchasing decision based off other factors, which we'll be doing a lot of videos on here on PhoneBuff, so make sure you subscribe for that. Alright guys, that is pretty much it for me in this video. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus for more mobile technology content just like this. Thank you for watching.